Hi, this is Jeremy Schulman, the developer advocate for Abstra. And today what I'd like to do is show you a short automation tutorial for intent-based analytics using the predefined probes that are built into the AOS 2.1 uh, product. So let's get started. Uh, this is a continuation of my prior uh, tutorial. So I have my blueprint and my Jupyter Notebook system up and running. And the first thing I'd like to do is show you where you find the API documentation. So under platform, under developers, we have two areas for our API. One is the platform area and one is the blueprint specific area. So I'm going to select the blueprint specific area. And our API is defined using the Swagger 2.0 uh, specification. And that allows us to present a, a very nice documentation that's all built in. And here you can see that I have these predefined probe URLs. Each of these are a post. And if I scroll down, I'll find the headroom example that I did in my previous tutorial. And if we select this, we can see that this headroom URL takes a label, a source node label, and a desk node label, just like the uh, demonstration I did before. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, URL and create the probe using this method. So what I'll do is I will go to my Jupyter Notebook and I'm going to create a new notebook. So I'll go to New Python 2 and I will first import the client library so I can talk to the AOS server. So I'll say from AOS PY client import client and hit Shift Enter. So that imported the library and then I can say AOS is equal to client and here I just simply need to give it the IP address uh, here so there like that and I can see that it's running and now it's completed so if I actually just did AOS and hit shift enter it will tell me information about this uh, server so I can clear that and now what I want to do is I want to again get a instance of a variable called a blueprint for this name. So in order to do that, I know that my client has a list of all blueprints. I can see that there's really only one in here, but I will do it this way, blueprints, and then give it the name. And when you make a mistake in Python, in Interactive Python, you can just go back, which is really handy, and hit Shift Enter, so I can fix my mistakes. And now I have an instance of this blueprint. And now if we go back to this URL, I know I want to use this URL with this predefined probes headroom. So this BP variable has a URL. So you can see that it's kind of created all the way out through this part of it. So really what I need is this part, which is the headroom predefined probe. So I'll say URL is equal to my blueprint base URL plus uh, this value so I can see that I have that complete value and I know I need to do a post with these variables so I'm going to say blueprint API post I'm going to give it the URL and then the JSON uh, body is going to be those specific variables and you can um, you know pass this as a JSON dictionary and so I can say this is a dictionary with a label is equal to Jeremy uh, headroom probe and then I want the source node label to be what we had before, which was if we went to our active topology, we can see that this was rack one server one. So I would put this as rack one server one. And then the uh, dest node label was the other side of it, which was rack two underscore two underscore server one. So I could do rack two underscore two underscore server one. And since this is actually going to invoke the API, I'll, I'll store the variable response back, hit shift enter. I can see that that was executed. And then if I want to see if the response was okay, it said that it was okay, which means that I should be able to go to my dashboard and go to analytics and again, see that sure enough, there is my Jeremy Headroom probe. And then following um, my prior example, going back down to the image, we can see that we got the same image as before. And this uh, response uh, has a JSON body that has the uh, ID value for that probe. 
So again, if I wanted to delete that probe, I could follow the same process as before. So hopefully this um, second tutorial shows you the way uh, in which you can create probes using the built-in APIs. So now I've shown you both methods. One is using the built-in API, and the second is a generic way to create any probe that you want using the GitHub library that shows you how to build the various stages of a probe. Now, uh, in a future release of our UI, we will be uh, providing you the ability to point and click through the UI to create probes so that you won't need to construct the JSON data as I'm demonstrating. So as we're iterating our product, we're making this more and more user-friendly, both from an API programming uh, standpoint, as well as from a user interface standpoint. So I, again, hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial, and I look forward to making future tutorials uh, for you. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And uh, thank you again.